I'm Phil Guyman. I was a pro cyclist for 10 years. Now I'm retired, but I still train as hard as I can to set the best times on the toughest climbs I can find and go on fun adventures on my bike all over the world. This is Worst Retirement Ever. All right, so I, I took my break. I had a full two weeks off. As of yesterday, I didn't ride a bike at all. Um, I, I did do some cross training. I, uh, I, I did, I, you know, I ate a little bit. Just kidding, that's a pillow. That's a pillow. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put in a screenshot from my, uh, I, you know, I did, you did put out a couple pounds, which is fine in the off season, but just let the weight come back on, let your body do what it needs to do. And, uh, and it'll, it'll come right back off when I ride and I'll, I'll kind of share that. When, when I get back on, I don't want to, I'm not going to go and just like start doing 25 hour weeks and, and smashing KOMs. Um, I thought gravel would be a good, a good alternative. It sort of forces you to do different kinds of efforts that you might not if I just go out and noodle on my road bike. So while I was resting, uh, Velofix came by and put, uh, put the new GRX group on my, on my Factor LS. It's funny that being off the bike for a couple weeks, I, I forget how to do it already. I just have weird anxiety that I forgot something. I'm gonna do a quick bike check. Oh, oh, check out these new shoes. These are awesome. Look how pretty that is. It, it, does even, the, it doesn't do it justice without the light. Um, so I set those up. Yeah, when I got to the garage, I was like, oh, I haven't set up shoes for the gravel bike yet. Um, I've got the drink mix. I've got tubes and whatnot. I've got the, uh, let's see. Yep, there's some splits in there. Okay. I think I'm gonna put on a helmet, obviously, I'll get to that. But uh, sunscreen, chamois butter. Okay, I'm good to go, I'm good to go. I'm gonna go pedal, I'll bring you guys with me. So if anyone noticed that I was missing something, uh, it was my gloves. I got my full finger hand ups. The, uh, I did remember them before I left. So I know that Velofix got the bike right and I measured it myself, All the, everything's fit right, but uh, the feeling, after not riding for a couple weeks is obviously I've never ridden a bicycle before uh, and this is not my bicycle. Um, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get used to it. It does feel hilariously alien. You'd think I'd, I'd know how it's supposed to go by now. The other one, this is kinda, kinda similar, but just a question for you guys. How do you know, how do you remember to shower if you don't ride a bike every day? Cause that's something that like really throws me off on Mondays, which usually my days off. And I just had two weeks and like, Emily had to have a couple talks. Like, yo, it's time to, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be ripe. Uh, and then, then once I was running more, it, it sort of took care of itself. But I'm interested in your thoughts on that. Here's another thing I forgot. Nothing's happening. New DI2, so it comes with a, enough charge for Velofix to set it up, but one must still charge it. So I'll be doing today in my little ring. Like I don't wanna go home and charge it uh, cause I'm already late to meet Ben cause I was setting up the new shoes. <laughs> Everything's fine. The rear shifter is working for now. So this is Mulholland Highway behind me, Topanga Canyon, just back that away. And uh, now we're headed to, to where the dirt starts. Unimproved road, next seven miles. I don't think it needs any improvement at all. So about 30 minutes in, the uh, basically I'm really enjoying myself. <laughs> the take is that uh, I should continue riding bikes um, as much as I can. It's uh, real peaceful in the dirt. It's nice to not have to fight with cars uh, on, on the first ride back, you know, let me let me ease into that whole thing um, But this is lovely Views good Yeah Yeah, I'm in a good mood Howdy Ben oh, hello. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late before I, this is was literally me saying hi to Ben. I want your opinion on, we're about to see some kind of a photo shoot situation. Oh, okay. Did these guys buy their FBI jackets or did someone hire the FBI to do a photo shoot? I'm interested in your thoughts. 
because it just seems really not justified for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. So what do you think, Ben? FBI or CIA in disguise? Got the Suburban? I think they bought those jackets, though. Why would the FBI do a photo shoot? I don't want to ask them. What do you mean? Come. LA is a weird place. Like the same way we did? Okay. We're gonna leave. So I go two weeks without riding with Ben. He's gone full hipster. Got a baggy. There's photo evidence of this before your break. Yeah, no, he was always a hipster. Uh, that's all right. So if I forgot anything, it's my baggy clothes. Uh, yeah. But I'm just going to own my roadiness. It's nice out, huh? It's beautiful. It might be a perfect riding day. Yeah, there you go. He said it. I didn't say it. Everyone gets mad at LA for being really nice in the comments. Oh, yeah. There's like... I mean, the Netherlands, it sucks here. Sorry, I don't know. But you have free health care, okay? Yeah, you guys have health care. I, I still owe $200,000 to a bunch of assholes. So, call it a tie. The Dirt Mohan is the 405 on a Saturday. Um, but there's room for everybody. Notice the explosion in the e-bike market. Those are all e-bikes. Like 80%. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Get out here. Get out here. Here's Ben trying out the new, the GRX uh, shifter gizmo. Um, yeah, no, nice. it, it feels good. I haven't, you know, the first, it feels, it feels like a road bike in the right ways. Yeah, I like um, this little hook. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna slide off the, the thing. It's weird because it's me and gravel and it's all kind of alien. But uh, but I, I do like it, I like the 40s. This is like the widest tire I've been on. Um, yeah. We got to the end of Dirt Mall and, uh, and now we're just gonna flip it. I'm at an hour of eight ride time, so I've already messed up at the turnaround point. I'm already going more than I told myself I would. It's um, more downhill on the way. Though. It's mostly downhill, it's fine, no big deal. Coasting doesn't count. Snake sighting. Get out of the trail. Go on. It's not a rattlesnake, is he? What is he? Or she, sorry. I don't know. Hard to say. I don't know my snakes very well. Get out of the trail. Ben Foster, the snake whisperer. Keep it moving. My new YouTube show. Keep it moving. Beep, beep. They're so cool. Only rattlers are poisonous here. Everything else is... Just a, just a good old okay. snake. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's creepy every time. That was a big one. Yeah. So we're we're back at the uh, at Santa Maria. This is this is the scene of the pseudo crime. The whatever took place before. I see no puddles of blood or or bullet casings. One downside of gravel riding is there's no cafes on trails. Um, so I, at the end of my ride, I, I met up with Emily, and uh, we're we're gonna get some takeout lunch. And sitting here, I did notice that I did not a great job of leg shaving, um, if you can see that. So you'd think I'd have that down by now, but I don't. Yeah, Any tips? You miss spots too. Oh, I miss spots all the time. I still <laughs> look at that. Horrible. So Gross. Ew. Gross. Okay. <laughs> Guess we're a good couple. We're at uh, Gasolina, which is a, uh, a, a kind of authentic Spanish restaurant. I got the, the tortilla, which does make me miss Spain. Um, the, the potato tortilla dealy. I'm gonna eat that now. What'd you get? The omelet? Yeah, I'm already eating it. The seasonal Sorry. omelet. It's very, well, when I'm GoProing, you don't have to wait for me to start. It's funny, we've we've lived here what three and a half months now? We've lived over here. And we've we've 
eaten at all the restaurants. We haven't been to any restaurants because there's a there's a pandemic, if y'all aren't aware. Um, it's pretty funny. At some point, we'll like get to know our neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> like, I already know what I like, but I've never set foot into any of it. Um, yeah. I've already, you know, made friends with some of the baristas and stuff around. See them often. Yeah, no, we're we're building appropriate relationships, and we're close enough to Peddler's Fork, which was a, a go-to anyway. Yeah. Um, but I still like I like gasolina. That was a delicious tortilla in my belly right now. But I've but I've never set foot in gasolina. I don't know what it looks like in there. Yeah. It's a weird it's a weird time to exist. Making the best of it. For anyone wondering, the battery. It, it's it froze in my little ring about 15 minutes into the ride um, and and as of now it froze in the in the in the center of the rear cluster so now I'm fully out of battery that's about how long it lasts I'm just out here to find this out so you don't have to go through it you know what I mean I will be your guinea fill plus I get to you know work on my cadence the rest of the way home almost home So we're back home. Uh, I took care of this so I wouldn't forget. And uh, that's that's it for this video. First ride back. It was still fun. Nala's hanging out, sunbathing. How you doing? She's good. All right, see you guys later. <laughs>